change strings on a Fender Stratocaster. Here we have a very fine Buddy Guy signature Stratocaster. First thing I'm going to do, I've already changed the E string, so I'm going to loosen the string, uh, the A string, and remove it. So, this way, unwinding the string, you can see it's getting looser and looser and looser. And then I can just remove it manually. And then I'll just, just to make it easier to pull through the bridge, I'll just cut off this part that's already wound up there. And I'll just remove that, just to make it easier to pull through the bridge. You can just throw it away. And then, bring this up here, and you just push this back through the bridge. It's a little bit stuck in there, so you may have to push on it. Maybe a little bit more. Uh-oh. Sometimes, you can even take the end of the string to help push on it a little bit. It's really stuck in there. There it is, there it goes. Okay, and so then you flip this thing around here and it comes up there. These are, I guess, the Dario strings because they're color-coded. And now we have our replacement, also the same color. Thank you, Diderio. Okay, and so then you put the string back through the bridge. Feed it through, feed it through, feed it through. It's coming through nicely on the other side. Oh, great. Usually I just do all this in the stand, but I'm showing you for the camera. Okay, so then, We've got the post lined up with the slot in the post nearly vertical. I'm going to make it vertical. Okay, so with these fender posts that have the hole down in them, you're going to actually put the end of the string down in the post. So, like down in it that way. And so I'm going to measure, I know from experience doing this, that if I go about, let's see, one, two, three pegs beyond, maybe a little bit more than that, then that'll give me about three windings or more. And with this A string, that's about all I can fit. So that's about that. I'm holding tension on the string and measuring it that way. And then I'm going to back it up and just bend it right there, just to mark it. And then I'll take my clippers right where I marked it, cut them off. You gads, that was my peg winder. Okay. And then I will just put that through there. I'm going to need that. Voila! Okay. So like this, I'm going to start the wind over this side of the peg, and I'm actually going to wind the first winding manually with my hands, just like that, coming around this side of the peg. What is that clockwise? Okay. And then, and I just push that bend down in there with my thumb a little bit. Now I'm holding tension on the string with my hand, pushing down with my index finger, and lifting up with my uh, middle finger. I could actually lift that up with my thumb, it's nice, because then you can use the nail to push it. And then, wind it with the peg winder. Just keep that in that place. Goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. A little bit of tension on it, and voila. Just kind of ballpark the pitch by ear, or you can use a tuner if you like. And then, once you get the string on there, you want to just stretch it a little bit so that it'll stop slipping, and so it'll hold in tune a little bit better. And you notice that lost about a whole step. And then do it again. Stretch it again. One more time. Probably about five or six times, maybe. And voila. Just repeat that six more times and you're all set. Okay.